afternoon. So I bought these woods about 10 years ago now, um, and but I've never really got around to uh, making some videos about the woods. Um, so I thought I would uh, uh, make some videos. Uh, so you can just see in the background there, I've been uh, clearing a few trees in the back there. Um, I've got quite a few ash trees in these woods. Um, you can see those there. Um, and quite a few of them are showing signs of ash dieback. Uh, so I'm actually going around felling some of the trees. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to leave, leave the ones that look healthy um, and just take out the ones oh, that look a bit manky. Um, so you can just see through there, I've got a nice area of bluebells which will be coming through in a few weeks time. Um, quite a few deer that wander around these woods as well. Um, got a mixture of trees in this, uh, in this woodland so as you can see up here these are all mature um, Norway spruce um, probably a good 50 years old, 60 years old um, so they're basically uh, mature Christmas trees um, but uh, not sure what I'm going to do with them but probably just leave them as they are um, Quite a nice little area. And then and in this area here, there's more ash trees. Uh, there's a couple of Scots pines up in here. Um, there's a, a few of those have died. So uh, I'll take those down. That one, one has come down uh, during the winter. So I'll uh, deal with that. Um, but what I intend to do at the moment is clear a few of these ash trees along the edge of my pond. Um, so, uh, <coughs> yeah, so you can see actually up there, and you can see that those ash trees directly behind me um, all got dieback on them. Um, so there's quite a lot of dead wood up there. So uh, I've got the trusty chainsaw. I'm going to bring them all down. Um, let's go down here and have a look. Right. So, right, so now down on the edge of the pond. Um, you can see that, we've got these dead trees all the way along here. Um, and start with that little dead sycamore tree there. And just generally fell them, hopefully I can fell them into the woodland rather than uh, let them fall into the pond. Uh, so, let's see how we go. Um, right. Switch off for a moment and then uh, come back in a moment.
Okay. Okay. Let's put a few uh, trees felled. So you can see I've uh, dropped them just where I want them. It's just an ongoing process of uh, working my way through all these trees. And you can see, let's have a look top of these ash trees here. There we, there we go. All this wood here is just dead. Um, so, uh, and you can see there is some life. But that's green, a bit of brown, and then it's dead on the top there. So, uh, classic. Classic ash dieback, um, but uh, yeah. So uh, just had to clear these up and then uh, work my way along the pond. And with all the dead wood, some people say you should burn it when it falls. Um, what I've done around here. Just a little bit for the wildlife. Over there, over there, and up there. Just made some uh, sort of hibernation areas for the wildlife. Um, so I'll just get all the old wood that's no good for burning really. Um, so like this, just stack it all up. Loads of bracken through here as well, so I've cleared a lot of that. Pile it all up in here. That's a good place for all the, uh, the bugs and grubs and such like to uh, overwinter and nest in. Um, I see the odd, the odd grass snake knocking about here as well. Um, yeah, so I'll probably just uh, chuck a lot of that wood in there. But I have started a little bonfire here. Um, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of this broom, so this green, green plant with the yellow flowers on it. Um, that's growing like a weed around here, um, but yeah, nice little, uh, nice little pond down in my woods here as well. Um, yeah, so if you get the opportunity to buy a woodland, uh, buy it. Um, yeah, best investment you can make. Okay, I think that's enough for now, and uh, maybe I'll return once I've. Uh, made inroads into these trees here and cleared a lot of the, uh, the dead ash trees. Okay, let's uh, do that.